Alrighty. Hopefully we get some going this time. Alright, so to be a little bit of a overview of Infinity Engine and Enhanced Edition and uh, the tutorial for Icewind Dale specifically. You see I'm playing on version 1.4. That's the current version if you download it right now, so you don't have to do any downgrading or anything. I'm going to go through uh, some of the options right off the bat here. First of all, you want to have the difficulty set to Insane, which is on that far right here. Uh, that'll give you 100% uh, more experience points per monster and quest, so those of us get uh, levels we need a lot faster. Uh, other options, max HP on level up, it's just always on, so I just left it on. Uh, this one's interesting, it wasn't in there last time, or when I first started doing the runs, so I just leave it off, but uh, if you have that on there, there's a chance you could probably skip uh, doing the first couple level ups in East Haven. But uh, I'm not going to touch it because it's not what I'm used to. Um, feedback, this is really important. You have to turn off all messages. So to hit rolls, comment information, all of this has to be checked off. And uh, yeah, this should be it for options here. I mean, you can increase your mouse scroll speed, stuff like that, but that's really just preference. Alrighty. We want to do it with a single character. Gender doesn't matter, just pick whatever you want. Race is important, you have to pick Elf. Uh, that's because they get a 30% bonus to find traps, and there's one trap where we need to find in the run. Sorcerer, don't pick Dragon Disciple because they get one fewer spell per day, and that uh, doesn't mesh well with, uh, with the current route because we need as many spells as possible. Uh, Lawful Evil, I'm pretty sure you need to be evil for the run now because there's a lag reduction strat in. Dragons are level 3, and uh, I think the skeleton guy only responds to evil characters. I'm too lazy to go through near infinity and find out for myself, though. Alright. So, wisdom and intelligence is get rid of all that. What we want is max charisma, 16 constitution, and 19 dexterity. And just pump the rest into strength. Really, all we need for the run. Because Dexterity gives you armor class, Constitutional gives you more hit points, Prisma lets us pass some uh, dialogue checks, and Strength is well, just strength, I and mean, why not? Uh, this is kind of uh, important, you gotta put in Quarter Staff, because when you're leveling up later on in the game, there's gonna be two, uh, there's three proficiencies you gotta put in. So when you do the first big level up, you gotta put them in these two, and they're right next to each other, and it's easy just to scroll down and get them. And for the last one, it's just gonna automatically have Dagger at the top. So we just click that real quick. So, but if we had uh, put it in here first, then we'd have to go searching for quarter staff, and that costs a little bit of time. All right. So, mage spells. First two we need are find familiar and uh, expeditious retreat. It's worth noting that you can't actually put the retreat one on a hotkey. Most of the spells I do have are hotkey. We'll be talking about that later. But yeah, this one for whatever reason you can't. Appearance doesn't matter. Just use whatever. And of course, voice doesn't matter either. All right, name again doesn't matter. Just pick what you want. And away we go. All right. Our tale begins. So timer starts after you hit done here. So you just press One of the so ten towns enter. This is pretty important at the very well, not really that important, but it's interesting. You can uh, move a little bit before uh, Rothgar here actually initiates his dialogue. So let's click here, and you move a little bit. It saves a little bit of time, but Once you've had a chance if you miss it, don't worry about it too much. Come by and see me at my house. All just right, so we're gonna set up the first big the glitch here. Some business I was See something familiar. Well. Alright, what you want to do is quick save, load, and then uh, you, you want to cast Expedious Retreat. Do that. Pause it. And you don't have to pause it, but uh, pause it for the tutorial here. Have him talk to this guy. And when the familiar is about here, you want to exit the room. So, 
done. And so that sets us up with multiple dialogue, which is really easy. A lot to do with the familiar. Yes, no you can control pretty much every aspect of it. Uh, once you get outside, just put the imp into your pocket and come over to Paw Man here. See that I have these options. The way that dialogue works in these games is that no matter what, dialogue tree is always complete, but there is hidden options that show up either when you hit a trigger or you complete a quest or you go visit an area, you know, something like that. So the top one here is actually getting the list before you go out to uh, Kuldahar. So we'll hit number one here, and it gives us a supply list. This also, you can't see it, this also gives us a bit of experience points. And we're gonna do this two more times. Go up, hit one. Go up, hit one again. And there we go, now we can do level three. The reason that that's important is because we need to get shield for the next part coming up here. All right, so we gotta cast haste again. So get over to Hrothgar pretty quickly. I like to level up just before we go inside here, so I just go in, level up, except you just click shield and you're good. Done. Well met, friend. Just gonna mash the dialogue at one. Return here off to him again, and then off you go. Set. The others are assembling as we speak. Are you ready to leave as well? Alright, so for this part, you wanna pause, click save, rest. If you don't, if you're not successful, load, rest, load, rest until you actually do get a successful uh, rest here. here. You want to top lock this guy by clicking on him, and then casting this spell, shield, and then quick save again, load, and then again top lock him. You need to top lock this guy uh, so he doesn't initiate his dialogue because he can do it anywhere on the map, and that costs us time smashing through that. So. Once you've uh, done the shield, quick save and load, and then you can cast the haste immediately. Let's go get rid of the six second delay that's between casts. We've been doing this quite a bit throughout the run. So you can still die here, like right there. But uh, shield usually helps out with that. And if this was a, r a real run, you just reset, it's no big deal. But uh, yeah, so I'll just uh, keep going here. Try to stay near the south, that way you get less archer shooting at you, because the guys in here can actually shoot you. Okay, so... So I go across the bridge here, and we die again. Wonderful. Certainly. There we go, we've got a call to high. It's a chat if you know a chapter's coming up, just make sure you're ready to press enter as soon as you enter. So just like that. Cast speedius retreat again. Head over in here. Well So for this one you can find the optimal dialogue path. I used to know it, I don't know it anymore. Or you can just mash two, it's pretty much the same amount of time though. Good luck. You have to go visit the Vale of Shadows in order to uh, open up the multiple dialogue glitch to skip doing it. No small task. Uh, how I'm able to cast that is I'm just press. I just uh, set my hotkey from. Uh, where is it? Employees, sign keys. Uh, cast spell. I just swap it to A. I press A and then F1. Uh, later on in the run, for whatever reason. It uh, swaps to F2, but uh, by that point we're not using Expedious Retreat anymore, so not a big deal. Alright, so here's the uh, second dialogue glitch. Quick save load. The reason we do that is uh, it'll put the glitch dialogue right at the very top, so we don't have to keep searching through to find uh, any of the options we need. Alright, so for this one, we're going to want to be close to the door, and once the imp turns the corner around here, you want to exit. So, we'll do that. And there you go. Nice and simple again. Back in the pack. We'll get to Arndel. Alright, so we talk to him, you see we don't have any. Uh, the option we need is option 3. 
and then we just match the dialogue again. Uh, either after you leave or before you leave, you'll have to cast the uh, Speediest Retreat again, just do that. And head to the Temple of Forgotten God. The most important thing here is to rest. You can do it immediately after you enter. I'll show you that real quick here. Let's quick save this week. Give us some BS. Yeah, very well. So you can just go. There we go, I've rested. Let's have rest on a hockey, I have it at R personally. Oh, you have returned. Okay. What news? Have you found the Heartstone gem? So, this one we want number two. Oh, this is terrible. If you choose number the three, it'll crash the game here. because the that dialogue option doesn't actually exist, and when it looks for it, just fucking crash it. Tread lightly and be wary of the creatures that dwell within its depths. All right, so we gotta go to Heart of Winter to I level up now. So what you want to do for this dialogue is three two spade or three two enter three and then multiple dialogue two and then number one. Really important that you don't talk to him right there. You have to wait until after that. And then you have to click to go through that and there we go. But like I said, it's really important you don't go and click on him to try to get the dialogue going quicker because it'll just crash the game because it's going to be waiting for him to do the input. As soon as it's already done, it'll just be standing there and you'll be stuck in cutscene mode. Okay, so this guy, we have to press 2, and go up to 1, and just mash 1. Uh, even though this is the same dialogue we'll get when we talk to him again, we have to exit, come back, and then press 1 again, and that solves the quest. That's a really late game, uh, hard winner quest. And that gives us uh, about 1.5 million experience points. Gotta go through a bunch of dialogues here, so we have to refresh the multiple dialogue glitch again. So of course we bring out our trusty familiar. Let's go down here, quick save, load. Click on him when he moves just a little bit. You want to go out because this one you can move pretty quick in. So wait, go. There we go. So the reason that works is because the familiar is a lesser character or a minor character. And minor characters can't exist without a major character within a building. And since small houses and stuff on uh, city maps like this are considered uh, minor parts of the, uh, the map, as soon as the character leaves it it stays in memory for a little bit, and then it's it's removed. And so what we do is we have the dialogue initiated in the um, minor area with the minor character. And since the minor character can't be there without the ma without a major character, it teleports them out and cuts the dialogue because the NPC is despawned. <laughs> Anyways, so for this guy we need to get some more experience points to get uh, level nine spells in time. So. What you want is 3, 3, 4, uh, enter, enter, 1, 1, and then just mash through this to the very end, and then hit up number 1 here. It gives him the crystal rose, that's about 1.2 million experience points, and you're good. Okay, so now we have to do the big level up. Like I said earlier, this is the first one. We have to do dart and sling, because they're right next to each other, just scroll down. Easy peasy. Uh, spells don't really matter for level 1. Uh, this one you want to get, just go along this line here, Get make sure you skip uh, no alignment, start from your image, get these two, skip no alignment and then get knocked and invisibility. This one, the only spell we really need is uh, flame around here, so you can just go straight down. Uh, this one we need dimension door. Uh, stone skin, and uh, that should be it. You can pretty much choose what you want. I usually get fire shield blue, fire shield red, just get in the habit of ch choosing the same spells every time. Uh, this one we need to get spell immunity and dimension door, or shadow door rather. The way I do this one is I go down like this and click that. If you're feeling a bit worried about the final boss, you might want to pick up phantom blade. I'll do that this time. Uh, level 6 is actually kind of important. Uh, we need to get mislead and we need to get improved haste. 
You can also get Tensor's Transformation if you want, but uh, I found that using the scroll is a lot quicker against the final boss. So you can leave that and choose whatever you want, but pick it if you want to. Uh, for the demonstration in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to get Limited Wish, but really the only thing you need from level 7 is Spell Sequencer. And this one you need Mind Blank for safety and Spell Trigger just in case. Uh, there's really nothing you need in level 8. Alright, so after we've done that, you have to go and rest, to rent the room, and then you want to cast. Where is it? Proved Haste. I have that set as Backspace as a hotkey, so whenever uh, you see me cast, I'm just pressing Backspace. Alright, so we still have the multiple dialogue glitch in effect. It only goes away if you save and load. So if you're trying to keep it around, don't save and load. Uh, for this one, you hit one and then two multiple dialogue, and then one one, and this takes you to Funeral Isle. Uh, you want to teleport across from here with Dimension Door. That way you skip some lag from uh, some of the barbarians up there. Go down to this tower. Top lock this guy. And then this is the Dimension Door glitch. Uh, dimension Door will send you to the coordinates. So you see right here, uh, these two. Uh, it'll port you to these coordinates, but on the area you go to. So I'll show you that. This. So yeah, it teleported me right to where Hold Year is. Uh, this one is a pretty simple one. Just hit one, one. And after he says die, after he says die here, go up, press one, one, uh, one, enter, one, enter, multiple dialogue, one, one, three. And that'll get you back to Kuldahar and give you the rest of the experience points you need for level nine spells. Uh, talk lock this guy. It'll uh, give you a side quest, but uh, it's just wasting time. Alright, so you want to go to the Temple of Forgotten God again and level up. Uh, it doesn't matter what spells we pick, except when we get here. You have to get Black Bladed Disaster, Shape Change, and Time Stop. Uh, if we were doing uh, Heart of Winter, we'd also need Chain Contingency, but uh, I'll cover that maybe later. Anyway, so we got those, and uh, so rests always work in this area, so that's why we came here. Rest. No uh, if you're worried, make sure you actually do get your spells, because the game can glitch and not give you a rest yes. state, despite you resting. Certainly. Uh, we go to the Veil of Shadows. I see. Uh, you can just uh, straight up cast Dimension Door and go to Dragon's Eye, which is our next destination, or you can do cast Dimension Door, quick save, load. I see. And then go to Dragon's Eye. After a day's journey through the and that'll put you right here where we want to be. Uh, this is right next to the entrance, and there's no monsters around, so we just do what we want to do. Uh, here we cast all our buffs. We want to cast Improved Haste. Click Save, Load to get rid of the casting time. Cast Mirror Image. Click Save, Load. Cast Stone Skin. Quick save, load, and then cast. There's invisibility. I guess. And then cast invisibility on yourself. All right, so we're pretty much set up here. I see. Have to run past everybody. Uh, there's an optional strat here. I'll uh, show you guys real quick. You can go up here, and in uh, this container right here you can get uh, the Boots of the Fox, which are kind of like crappier versions of the Boots of Speed, uh, which we use for most of Dragon's Eye and a little bit at the start of, what's it called, uh, Shattered Hand. But it's really low drop rate. I haven't found a single way to manipulate how to make it drop. If we get that, that's like 45 seconds off this part, which is really decent. But since we didn't get it this time, I'm just going to reload the autosave and do it normally. Certainly, indeed. You need to fight anything here. Get over to this part where they can't see you. Get close to the door, don't go in. 
And make sure when you're doing your uh, dimension door teleport here, you have to be shooting near the exit. So toss it there, go through the door, and then you'll end up here. The reason why you have to do it uh, in that specific spot is that if you do the wrong area, it's going to put you down here. And uh, that's way far away from the exit. Same deal here. We, got, we want to aim down over by the corner. Do it. Go in. Perfect. Sometimes that skeleton up there will talk to you. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, it causes a little bit of lag, but what you really want to do is come over to the undead lieutenant here. Uh, hit three. And then one. And none of the monsters on this floor will attack you anymore. This was really important because this was probably the laggiest screen in the entire game. Because undead are obviously the Roman packs because they're so easy to kill with turn undead and false dawn and whatnot. So you'd have about 50 of them after you and you'd just lay the game. But since they're all friendly now, it doesn't have the same effect on the PC. And uh, you're able to go through it pretty quick. All right, same deal here. We want to do dimension door. Quick save and load on this one, though. Go through the door. And then you'll get tra transported here. These, uh, these guys are actually pretty special because they only activate their script. Once the doors open, uh, if you actually play through the game, you know why. What you want to cast here is Mislead. That'll let you cast spells without losing your invisibility. We'll be using it quite a bit throughout the run. Alright, so for this part, I like to get over here and make sure uh, everything's ready for the next couple of steps. So, first thing we're going to cast is Spell Sequencer. Alright, you might notice that uh, I'm low on Dimension Doors, I don't have any more left after this one. So what we do is we put it in the sequencer, and then click the empty spot. What this does is actually refills up your spells. So that's the way we get the Dimension Door back without resting. It saves a lot of time on rebuffing and whatnot. Uh, what we want for this one, just put three flame arrows in and hit done. And then cast Shape Shift. Or shape change, excuse me. We're gonna need this to kill the boss down here. While this is casting, you want to set up mind blank. This is all you know, it's optional to get mind blank, but I find that you're gonna go fucking crazy if you try to do this too often without mind blank because there's traps that we can't get rid of. And mind blank nullifies half of them. Anyways, uh, I cast improved haste again because it ran out and we want to keep the movement speed. Here you want to cast knock, so be right next to the door when you do it because it'll spawn a guy and if you're not quick enough he's going to follow you in here and ruin your shit. She doesn't matter. Let's cast uh, mislead again and then go through this part. Uh, to be safe there's two options you can do. You can continually save, go through real carefully couple spots where you can be safe on the corner here, press Q, go through, you get a trap here, hop, uh, and we got poisoned, deadly, we can't do anything about it, that's run over, that's why we do any saves, we just reload the save, that time your image actually stopped it, it's only got a 50% chance of working in this game, not as OP as it is in Baldur's Gate. Alright, so this is the last part. This is a safety save again. And just walk through and go next to the little girl. Go over to time stop. Cast it. Alright, so what we want to do now is talk to her. You can kill the odd little girl and you can just defeat her like that, but you need her to spawn Yexme or whatever her name is in order to get the Hearthstone gem to actually continue. So it's six, so I'll skip all the dialogue. Uh, she'll spawn right exactly to the t uh, to the north of you. Just be ready and uh, cast Shape Change Mind Flare. Uh, you've probably seen this before if you follow Infinity Engine runs, specifically Baldur's Gate 2. It's how we kill a Renicus, and this is really how we kill the majority of the monsters in this game. So, just go up and attack her. 
would take four hits. Uh, if you're trying to get set up to pick up the Hearthstone gem, just make sure that you see the uh, aiming reticle will be in the middle of it, and that's where the loot's going to drop every time. So you pick up the two items, and then just get out of here. So the other way to be safe from these traps is actually to be Iron Golem. If you're an Iron Golem and you get hit by the poison, it doesn't do any damage to you. But we need to get back to human form before we get to the end because we gotta cast Dimension Door and get out of here. So we're back here. Just quick save, load. Again, get out. As you wish. Walk back to the exit. Since everybody's blue here, there's no lag. You don't have to worry about talk walking anybody. And you can even, if you're feeling a bit worried, you can just do it again. Just quick save load while you're casting. Dimension door, go through. And then when you're near all the monsters, just cast invisibility or shadow door. Do shadow door this time. You'll see monsters still follow you around. It's a bit of a bug in the enhanced edition. I think it has something to do with failing move silently checks, but I have no idea. Oops. Okay, that was a mistake. Don't do that on that one. You just want to do... You just want to run through that door. So go through this one normally, you can just hit M and go near the exit. You might want to watch your character because they 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 can't get stuck on the lizard men here. Just make sure they're still moving. That oh, looks like improved haste war. Usually you won't have to recast it, but since I've been stopping to demonstrate stuff, I have to cast it there. Normally you would just do it after you get back to Kaldahar. So yeah, let's cast the uh, taste again. Go back in and talk to Arndel. Of course it's fake Arndel, so just mash through the dialogue again. What you want to do is you want to move just a little bit to your left so you can see inside the room. That way you can go through this dialogue, just mash one, and still be able to target the uh, stairs. You go around here, you go over here, it's kind of hard to get through the stairs, right? You want to do that one spot, but if you're over here, you can target like right there. Alright, so we have to set up, the, there's actually two ways to do this next part. I'll do the way I do it, but there's also a backup strat, and that has to do with the English. Alright, so we go in here. Right, make sure to put the oil of speed into your quick eyes by dragging onto character like that. Release familiar. Over here, quick save, load. And it's the same thing when he turns the corner and goes around over here. Just make sure you leave. Need of me? As you wish. Perfect. By no small task. All right. So we used up a lot of spells when you go back to the Temple of Forgotten God and rest up. Remember that you can just go in and press rest immediately. Go back to the Veil of Shadows. And then remember, you can't quick save and load here unless you're doing the backup strat, but it's very finicky, and I absolutely recommend doing the shop glitch dialogue. Alright. So just cast it here and go down to the south to Severed Hand. Following the you have to hit enter and pause immediately because this guy will do a cutscene. It's a really long fucking cutscene. Uh, if it happens, you're probably going to have to reset. Done. Unless you really don't care about the time. So just talk lock him and then go up here. Queue up mislead. And then go inside. Go to just below this guy and wait for the oil speed to show up over here. See right there? I 
uh, so I was worried it was going to happen. So we'll do this part again. You have need of me. Wait till he gets around the corner. I am done. Do everything. Rest of the time with Forgotten God. Rest of the Veil of Shadows. I see. I see. Mansion door. Follow? Enter space. Sometimes it's actually impossible for you to get in time. So. Indeed. Don't worry about it too much if you uh, think you got it, but you didn't. Go and queue up mislead here. Go inside. I see. Let's go right below him this time because I went too far into the trap. Just wait for that. Wait till the haste thing appears. And that way, if you do get it and you're already hasted, you can outrun it. It's no problem. When you get around here, you want to queue up stone skin. And optionally later on, you can do mirror image, but you don't really need it. Click here for when you do dimension door, go upstairs. You gotta be really quick here. So you wanna outrun the goblins pretty much. I see. Go up here and use the spell trigger we had with the three flame arrows in it. Use it on her. Generally you kill her every time. I think it's got maybe a 10% chance to fail. And then equip the boots of speed and we've got enhanced movement speed again. Uh, to be safe. Pause when you come up here, because these guys can surround you. So just go over here, and you need to teleport behind these guys. There's no physical way of getting past them. Just keep running. Keep running. Pause here. This is You don't have to do this, but if you want to be super safe, or you're going to be doing the backup strat, you need to do this. Because you have to get up to the top floor before they show up because these guys will turn red and then you can't beat the game. Alright, so what we do here is we talk to this guy. Smash one and the dialogue. That opens up uh, what we need to do. We talk to him again, go all the way up to the top, hit number one. Hit enter, go back up, number one, go back up, number one. Do it four times anymore and you can't beat the game. And then we talk to this guy, mash through the dialogue, click through the cutscene, come back, and we go to Dorn's Deep. Easy peasy. Okay. I'll show you the other strategy. It involves a good wish. What we want to do here is quick save and load. That perms or it makes the uh, it makes the uh, round timer permanent for this load. If you did it without quick saving and loading, it would be random. What you want to see is watch his saber, see how many times he moves it back, and that's how you can determine your timing. Load it again, cast it. That was four saber moves you were watching. When he does his third one, we want to go upstairs. That was a bit early, I guess. It can be pretty frustrating trying to do this one, like I said. But it is a viable backup strat. And there we go, we got multiple dialogue. We just do the same thing. Match one. Back up to the top, one, enter. Want to enter? Want to enter? I'll show you guys what happens when you go too far. It makes it so this guy has nothing to say to you, and there's no dorms deep on the map. So pretty much you're screwed. Anyways, we'll go back. Do this part again. Remember to watch this the saber rattles. Yeah, so it's it's a, it's a late four on this one.
There we go. And then we talk tomorrow. Let's get the hell out of here. Even if lab if you do decide to venture the heart stones Sometimes he won't transport you and you'll just be stuck in the, the top of the uh, observatorium there. Don't worry about it too much. You can just talk to him again in a second. Alright, so rest here so you get your spells back. I'm just gonna get rid of this. And I'll just put that thing. Uh, quick save load. Start buffing yourself. Just do all the normal ones. Invisibility. Stone skin. Real image. And improve haste. You want to move down a little bit on this part, and then cast Misdeed, quick save, load, and then go over here and teleport onto the corner, right there. It's important you watch these guys, if you see them starting to move, immediately load, quick save again, load, and then teleport over, because their uh, scripts are going to be are bugged, and they're going to be coming after you, and it makes everything really hard at this section. Alright, so when you get about to the middle of the room, you want to cast Spell Sequencer again. Make sure you refill on Dimension Doors again, and then again do three Flame Arrows. Go to the next room, mislead, then head down to the Orc Lieutenant guy. Get this queued up, F1, boom, it's dead, grab the thing, get out of here. Since you have mislead up, nobody's going to attack you, there's no lag, this guy over here, you'd have to talk lock him, just move on out. Alright, so this is why we need to be an elf. This part right here, we need to get just some defined traps. If you're a human, it can take up to a minute. This part, we just have to walk back and forth until the trigger actually happens on this thing. And just click the hammer next to you, and go back down. First thing you want to do when you get downstairs is recast Improve Haste and go over here. I prefer not to uh, deal with this crap, just talk to this guy, press 1, and that way you don't have to keep talk locking him every time you come back in here. Do uh, Dimension Door, quick save load, and uh, then go through. It'll be after you, but you'll be teleported up here. Go grab the key, and then cast Shadow Door and Visibility. And go up into the room here. Indeed. You're gonna go to the fourth room. And take the gem off there. Go to the second door on the right. And walk back and forth here until you see the message. Alright. So check to make sure you're not in combat. If it quick saves, you're good. Just dimension door again, quick save load. And then once you get teleported down here, you want to use invisibility or shadow door again. That makes it so these guys don't follow you in here. Considering this is such a narrow little uh, staircase, they'll block it and you have to use a bunch of dimension doors just to get out of here. So talk lock this guy for this part. Grab the key from inside the furnace and back up here. You don't need to do uh, a quick save and load this time. Just dimension door, get out of here, and then go to the exit. Alright. You want to make sure these guys don't block you. They can actually see you in your middle, so that's why we didn't even bother with it. When you get to the, here, you want dimension door up to the uh, second level here. And then go right near the door and cast Another invisibility. Indeed. That way you don't have to deal with the dialogue here. Indeed. And then you want to talk lock Soth here and give him the magic missiles. Take the book, go near the stairs, quick save, load, invisibility, and then back out the front door. You do take a little bit of damage because the frost ore is active for some reason after that. 
walk back and forth just in front of the bridge here, and uh, the manual will take effect. Make sure that you mention door down right, and you'll end up close to door here. Just mash one through this dialog, and you'll get his badge. Uh, I like to cast mislead. It makes it so the wolves don't attack you when you're leaving. And then another dimension door before you leave, and you're halfway through the map. When you go up the stairs coming up on the left here, you want to cast another invisibility spell. I'll stop the trolls from falling into the next area and ruining their rest. Just go up here near the door and rest. Alright, do all the buffs. Save load. Don't do invisibility here. Just do dimension door and then go inside. You'll get chapter 6, make sure you press enter. And then run up to this door. It's actually invisible, guys. Do it right where you were there. And then go up onto the stairs. Do it at the bottom of the stairs. Go inside. And then make sure that you cast mislead as soon as possible. If you can save, click save and load. Cast shape change. Oops. Cast shape change. <laughs> Go here, grab the invisibility or the invisibility potions, and then get Tensor's transformation. All right. So for this next part, just want to go up, keep pausing until you see this guy. Click on him, and once you get close, say about here. Cast Time Stop. Make sure you're queued up to cast uh, Shape Shift My Player again. Do it. Kill this guy. Takes four hits. Two for each Umber Hulk. Oh. You gotta change to Iron Golem to kill these guys. Luckily, they don't fight back for whatever reason. You wanna make sure you don't get too much visibility in this room as well. We'll see why in just a sec. As soon as he's dead, make sure you go back to healing for him. And go down here pausing every time you're going down, as you'll see the real Malron. You want to talk lock him. And since you're in delay from uh, casting uh, natural form, you have to wait a little bit and then talk lock him again, and then cast time stop. Make sure you queue up Mind Flayer again and attack him. Even though you're not doing any damage, you are draining his intelligence. Kill him, grab his stuff, you don't need to grab the scroll, you don't actually need to grab any of this, the dagger is really just back up in case you really need to kill the final boss. Anyways, you'll actually get into situations where he'll, tele he'll teleport, he's just going to be over here, and you just do the exact same thing. Just go around, and uh, time stop, or talk lock him, time stop, use brains, come back over here, and then uh, teleport dimension door past these guys. It's also important to note that when you go into Iron Giant form for whatever reason, it gets rid of uh, the Boots of Speed, so just re-equip them. And then equip the potions and the scroll of uh, Tensor's Transformation, and uh, continue on. Make sure you t get back into natural form so you can cast spells. You have Dimension Door past them. Can't leave until the time stop ends. Let's wait. There we go. I see. Get out, wait a little bit, and then drink the potion of invisibility, and you're free. No small task. All right. So once you get down here, first thing you want to do is level up. Just level up, hit it, accept, and then escape. You don't need to choose any more spells, so it's just a waste of time. Uh, cast spell sequencer. Make sure you refill up on uh, dimension doors. Get flame arrows, except this time, once you get it full, click on the end until you get six, put the last one in, and then hit done. Because we're going to have to cast six more of them, so we need to do it so that we have three left at the very last one. Alright, so now that that's set up, just cast Improved Taste again. 
quick save, load, dimension door where you're at. I like to quick save and load here. Pause it, drink the last potion of visibility, and then go through. To make it so you don't have to talk lock anybody, and if you won't get unlucky with uh, fire dudes and have to deal with the running past them in the small platform. Alright, so we want to kill Maiden Ilmadia here. Let's talk lock her and give her spell sequencer. Sometimes she won't die, just reload or you're really feeling like Iron Man, just fucking give her some magic missiles. Get up near the doorway and then cast invisibility or shadow door. We'll still have these giants following me around for pretty much the rest of the level, so don't worry about them too much. Uh, at this part you can use Dimension Door, but that just adds a ton of guys falling past you and it'll lag the game really bad and it's not worth the trade-off. Just keep the invisibility and go up to Malavon. Well, I guess I should mention that uh, the items we need to get from Ilmadia are the Potion of Storm Giant Strength, the Oil of Speed, they're actually, both of them are essential, and uh, of course you need your badge for the main quest. Right, once we get up to Marketh here, just cast spell sequence her again. Uh, you don't really have to worry about Dimension Door, so don't worry about that. Uh, just get Flame Arrow in there. Once it gets to uh, the end, make sure you have four, click it, and then you're done. Uh, make sure that you talk to him. Just mash one and you won't have to fight him. Cast Invisibility. And you're free just to walk out. If you get stuck behind him, you get padding with you, but who cares? Done. Alright, you can also teleport here, but that, again, that just makes more leg happen, so just don't worry about it. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get up here. This part kind of sucks. What you want is for this thing to die in one hit. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. You have a better than even chance of getting it, but if it doesn't kill in the first one, just run around until your six seconds are up and cast Magic Missile on it. Alright, so we did kill in one hit. We need to go and talk to this guy. Just mash one and then when that comes up, that one will get rid of it. And then we have to put all of the symbols in the little spot here. There's no way to get past it. It's the only way to open up the stairs. And then we go up to the revered brother. All right, so this part's pretty simple. Very well. Just have to go up, talk, lock him, get next to him. Cast time stop again. And this is very important. Make sure you initiate dialogue first. Uh, quickest dialogue here is three three, and then two. Let's pause once he's done. Go into shapeshifter and these brains. You see the animation placeholders there. You didn't expect you to be able to do that. Okay, so now we're back in East Haven. Just want to uh, make sure that if you want, you can rest. I don't know why you would need to. If you're feeling like you really need to, you can do it here, it's fine. Uh, but what we need to do is just refresh, improve taste, quick save load, cast mislead, quick save load, and then cast spell sequencer. Alternatively, you can. Or, you can uh, get Finger of Death and uh, try to kill the guy that way, but this is far more reliable. Alright, so what we need to do is gain access to the tower. We have to talk to this guy. I don't remember any other way to actually access it, so you have to talk to him. Just perhaps press one here, and he'll give you access to the tower. You'll see over here that it's opened up now. Well, not yet. It'll be opened up, and uh, after we're done talking to him, we have to kill him. We don't kill him, he shows up for a cutscene that costs a lot of time in both entering the tower and the final boss fight. So there we go, it's opened up now. Go inside, there's nothing on the first floor, like I said, there's just a cutscene here if the guy's still alive. You can rest on this floor, and this is a uh, final prep.
Rest up. Cast improves haste. Save load, stone skin. Your image, save load, and then you want to go. You'll see spell immunity. You want to get. You want to get spell immunity abjuration. All right, this is really important. After you do this spell, you have to immediately go in, hit the oil of speed, unpause, go back in, and swap it with the storm drying strength. And as you see, even though we're a sorcerer, we're still getting a strength buff. And that increases our base damage. Uh, the big thing about the final boss in this game is he's immune to every single spell in the game. So you have to do the physical attacks, and that's the reason we got uh, Black Blade of Disaster and we have Tensor Transformation. The last fight is actually fairly simple. There's a lot of things that go wrong. I'll show you the first the quick or the uh, guaranteed strat, and then I'll show you the quick strat. But sometimes it fails. There is no need to smash one on these dialogues. Uh, the lower ones actually make him talk the more. So reason you are just keep going at it with one. Is because I want you to witness this is. And now, my brethren. And he says over, over. You want to cast, mislead as soon as possible. So, and dialogue, mislead, and then run straight down. What you want to do here is start queuing up time stop. Once they get close, you should be protected enough. You want to cast Black Blade of Disaster. Go up next to him, attack him nine times to see. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cast Time Stop again. Twelve, do it again. On the third one, cast tensors from the scroll. We should kill him. And there you go. So that's the uh, guaranteed strat. Is doing three time stops. Alternatively, you can go and no small task. do the same thing. You again. There is no need for such empty threats. The only reason you are still alive is because I want you to witness this historical. Behold! The circle is complete! And now my brethren are free to plunder this world for it's in Okay. So like I said, make sure you're queued up. Sleed, go down. You see why we have uh, immunity abjurations because there's all these symbols in the middle of the floor and they cast uh, power word fear and stuff, so we just want to make they're not power word fear. Uh, there's a there's a aura or something I remember I read about and you have to have abjurations that resist it. Anyway, let's just go down and cast Time Stop again. Hey, this is actually kind of weird. Yeah, if I can put our mileage in. Okay, so I'll just show this because whatever. So I hit the trap sprung here, right? That's why we go straight down because I don't think there's a trap like straight down here. But uh, we'll just wait for this to wear off because it's kind of weird right now and just don't want to deal with it. Uh, so once time stop ends, you'll see it gives you arrow dispelling. There's nothing you can do about it. All your buffs are gone, even uh, even the strength bonus. So there's literally no way you can win. So you gotta reload. Done. You again. I admire your. But there is no need for such empty threats. The only reason you are still alive. 
is because I want you to witness this historical moment. And now, Ah, she's getting feared a lot. So, while well, she's down here. Alright, I'm gonna run up right next to him. Cast Black Wave of Disaster. Get nine hits in. Seven. Nine. And then we're just gonna tensors on this one. Pray that he dies. We're screwed. Actually, we might make it. We'll see. Oh, there we go. Nice. So that's the uh, two time stop one. Yeah, there we go. Defeated at last. The strict. So there we go. Nice, quick, easy tutorial. Uh, hopefully, you guys got something out of it. Maybe a bit of more of an understanding of the glitches and uh, the EE stuff. You do all these glitches in uh, the 1.3 versions of uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. And, uh, oh, except for the Dimension Door glitch because that's only a nice one, Dale. Heart of Winter has its own stuff. Uh, I might do something about that later on, but it's really not all that different. You just have lower resistance. Uh, spell chain or not? I'm gonna say the eighth level spell sequencer and chain continuity in order to kill the boss with uh, Abudazi's horde wilting. It's really not that big of a departure. You can actually do it within the run if you want, or after the run, whatever you want. Anywho, that's it for the base enhanced edition. And uh, like I said, hopefully you guys got some of this. And uh, yeah, have fun.